This next question comes from Liz in Valeria, and it can be summed up as, does Newton's third law apply to gravity? Before I talk about gravity, let's do, uh, let's think of a situation that's maybe a little easier to understand. So let's take two magnets. Magnet one, the North Pole and the South Pole. Here's magnet one. And here's magnet two with a South Pole and a North Pole. Now, if you've ever played with magnets, you you probably notice that uh, these two magnets are going to attract each other. The North Pole attracts the South Pole. So there's going to be a force on magnet one due to magnet two pulling it. Similarly, there's a force on magnet two due to magnet one pulling on it. And according to Newton's third law, these two forces have the same magnitude, they have the same strength, and they point in opposite directions. And if you've ever held two magnets that are attracting, you notice that both those magnets are getting pulled toward each other with the same amount of force. So Newton's third law says, Newton's third law, M3L, says that F12 equals negative F21. Now I think most of you will believe that if you've ever touched a magnet before. Now, Let's do the same sort of thing, but apply it to gravity. Gravity is also a field force, just like magnetism. So the two objects involved don't have to be in direct contact. But notice I said two objects involved. It requires two things to produce a gravity force. It requires two magnets to produce a magnetic force. It requires two masses to produce a gravity force. So let's say object one is planet Earth. And object two, not drawing the scale, is you. Now, this works conceptually the same way that magnetic force does. Um, there is a force um, on object one due to object two. There's a force on object two due to object one. They're equal in magnitude and an opposite in direction. So, in other words, the force of the Earth pulling on this pen is the same magnitude as the force of the pen pulling on the Earth. So the Earth pulls the pen in this direction. This pen pulls the Earth in the upward direction. There you are. Here I am. The Earth is pulling down on me. I'm pulling upward on the Earth. 
Now this is maybe less intuitive because um, the accelerations of these two objects are so different. When we have two magnets, if they're roughly the same size and you let them go, you'll see them both move toward each other. But in this case, if you let an object go, you only notice the object moving toward the Earth. You don't notice the Earth moving toward the object. That's because of Newton's second law. Your mass, or the pen's mass, is so small that you end up having a large acceleration. The Earth's mass is so big that the Earth's acceleration for this amount of force is tiny. You're never going to notice it. But both objects do experience the same amount of force on one another. That force happens in opposite directions. Newton's third law is always true, even for these field forces where the objects aren't in direct contact.